M. Flinders Petrie is by far an essential reading source on anything to do with tubular drilling in ancient Egypt. After all, he picked up the pieces, the drill cores, and the fragments that nobody else seen the value in. In 1883, he wrote the following words. These tubular drills vary in thickness from a quarter inch to five inches in diameter, and from one thirtieth to one fifth inch thick. The smallest hole yet found in granite is two inch diameter. There is a still larger example where a platform of limestone rock has been dressed down by cutting it away with tube drills about 18 inches in diameter. The circular grooves occasionally intersecting prove that it was done merely to remove the rock. Tube drilling was commonplace in Egypt, a wonderful pristine example of which is displayed in the Cairo Museum, with zero information or provenance. Clearly the spiral grooves are visible. Not only are the spiral grooves of regular